I have a module right here. This module has a three inputs. We're only going to be using two of those because this is a two wire sensor. This signal reference right here, this is where we're going to be getting the value to determine the temperature of the thermistor. This is our sensor ground. We're using a pull up resistor. So we have five volts right here. This is a 10K ohm resistor. I've installed this little meter here just to help us to understand what's happening and how the computer is figuring out this value. This is an inexpensive meter, so the value is not exact, but it's going to help us understand this principle of connecting a sensor to a computer and how that computer is going to figure it out. So with the sensor unplugged we see 5 volts because there is no pathway for this green wire to go to ground. It just goes in this direction. When we give it a pathway we're going to go through this signal wire right here through the thermistor. Remember this is about a 10k ohm resistor and we're going to come back here through ground, sensor ground and then eventually back to the battery negative. Well, let's plug this in and see what's happening. This two wire sensor now we're dropping down to 2.64. We're dropping approximately half the voltage here at this thermistor and half the voltage on this fixed resistor. This is going to stay the same. When I prep my finger on here I'm going to be changing the temperature of the thermistor. This is an NTC thermistor, so as the temperature increases with my body heat, the resistance is going to decrease, and I'll see more voltage drop here, and so you'll start to see this value go down, down. On a vehicle, this temperature is going to change significantly, so this number is going to change a lot faster. My body heat isn't hot enough to make a significant change in this temperature. But the main point of this is that with this disconnected, this signal wire is going to read 5 volts, and that's an indication that this is operational. So here I'm connected to a real vehicle, and I have the ground and sensor wire. My multimeter is reading 5 volts. I'm disconnected from the thermistor. We see the scan tool has the same value. Now I'm going to connect the connector to the thermistor, and we'll back probe to read the voltage. And we can see that the voltage is reflected on the meter and the on the scan tool. And I'm going to apply some heat to the intake so that we can increase that temperature. And as I apply that heat, we see that the voltage is going down because as the temperature increases, the voltage drop is decreasing. Here's a schematic to show the same thing. This is called Circuit Lab. Here we have our 10K ohm resistor. This is our thermistor right here. I currently have this switch in the on position. You can come in here and change it to open. So this switch just represents me disconnecting it. So once again, five volts right here. There's no pathway to ground. As soon as I connect the thermistor, then I'm dropping the voltage. There now is a pathway to ground and I'm reading approximately 2.5.